Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week, we're going to continue our look at HomeBridge, and more specifically, I'm going to show you how to set up a Logitech Harmony Hub with HomeBridge so that it shows up in HomeKit. Now, I've done a number of things with this previously in previous screencasts that you may want to refer back to. Uh, I did a setup video on how to get HomeBridge installed and set up and running uh, on a Mac Mini. Uh, you can use other items to get that set up and running. I also showed how to install Nest uh, items into HomeKit through using HomeBridge, and so I did a screencast on that. And then I've also done a screencast on uh, the Logitech Harmony Hub itself, uh, installing it, setting it up, going through the app to get everything up and running. So I just wanted to refer you to those screencasts in case you haven't seen them because you may want to watch them before you dive in here because I'm just going to assume that you've seen those things uh, ahead of time already. Now to get started with the install, uh, what we need to do is we're going to type in sudo because we want to do that with, uh, with administrator privileges. And then we're going to type in npm and then install and then with a slash g with a space again there. And then we're going to put in homebridge I'll type that accurately here. All one word with a dash and then Harmony Hub. So that's how you set it up. The sudo npm install dash g homebridge dash Harmony Hub. And so then we're just going to hit enter. It's going to ask me to authenticate with my password. And once I've done that, I just hit enter. And now it's going to start the process of installing the packages and running everything we need to install the Harmony Hub. And you can see that now it's added all of these packages and it's got it all set up and installed and ready to go. So now we've got everything in there. Now what we need to do after that is we need to go over to our file that we had set up before, the configuration file and we need to update that. So let me just pull that up here for a second. And so you can see here that what I want to do is add another platform under the platforms area. And so what it's going to say is just like we did with the Nest uh, items, it's going to say platform. You type in uh, Harmony Hub in quotes just like that. And then the name of the platform, then you type in Harmony Hub. And you can pretty much name it whatever you want, but uh, for our purposes we'll just call it Harmony Hub because that's descriptive and that's what we need it to be. So now that we've got that all set and ready to go, uh, what we'll do is let's take a look and see what it looks like over on our uh, home kit. Okay, so here we are over on my iPhone. And so if everything is set up properly, it should show up in the home app. Uh, you may need to, if it doesn't show up right away, you may need to restart uh, your Mac so that everything gets caught up and loads properly. So just a thought, just in case, uh, it might just be a good thing to do a restart. I had to do that to get everything to show up. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to tap on the home app here and we're going to launch. And so this is my default room. And as you can see there, I've got a watch movie there that's on. If you come all the way down, you can see I have all these different rooms, play Xbox and all that kind of stuff, uh, watch movie. Those are all from my Harmony hubs that I have set up. So you can see I've got two of them on. So I was able to test that. Uh, those two. And what I would suggest if you have more than one Harmony Hub, which is my case, I've got more than one of them, it will detect them, uh, but you might not remember which ones go to which TV or which setup because you replicated those, let's say, on both TVs. So just turn them on on one of them. You find out what TV turns on. It just makes it a little easier to determine what it is. So let's go ahead and push into, I'm just going to uh, long press on that, and you can see that what it does is it loads each of the accessories or each of the uh, setups that you put together on the Logitech Harmony Hub as a switch. So it'll do a power on and a power off. If I just tap into the details here, you can see that it shows there's the watch movie command that's set up. You can see right now I have it in my default room, but I can move it. And you can see there it does set it up as a switch. Now if I just uh, scroll down, you see it can shows me what bridge. If I just tap on the bridge, you can see there's my home bridge that I have set up. And you can see I've got 10 accessories because I've got my Nest accessories as well as now two more accessories. If I just tap into that, you can see all the different uh, options that I have available just like it showed on the other page. Let me just tap back again and then I'll tap back one more time. Uh, now, another thing that you can do um, that might be helpful to you is that you can group it with other accessories. So if I just come in here to group with other accessories, what I can do is I can put a group name. And so let's just say, uh, in this case, I'm going to put Harmony Hub, just like this. Um, but I'm going to put, um, let's say, Loft in this case, okay? Because maybe that's where it's located. 
So I've got Harmony Hub Loft, and then I want to check the ones that are in the loft. And so in this case, I've got Watch Movie, which I'm already in right now. And I think I got the one right next to it, which is Watch uh, Apple TV. And let me just make sure that that's correct as I look over all of these. And yes, I believe that would be there. So I could group these two together and then say done. And so now I've got a default uh, Harmony Hub Loft and I've got two uh, accessories that are linked together there. And you can see I can always ungroup them later. And if I just tap on done, now I've got this Harmony Hub on. And you can see I had both, I had two things that were turned on and now they're both gone because they're under this particular hub right here. And then I can just tap on that. Now, you may need to do that by routine and that sort of thing uh, because I think if you group some of these other things together, it's gonna turn them all on at once and that'll cause you a problem. Uh, the other way you can do it if you didn't want to group them that way, like you had two things that come on at the same time with one switch. Again, the reason I link those two together, let me just long press into this again and go to details. These two accessories, if I'm going to watch a movie, uh, that's, got, that's going to uh, put it on a movie area for me. It's going to change my HDMI and then op Apple TV on. It's going to turn the Apple TV on in order to do that because I'm watching a movie through Apple TV. So that's why I link those two together so that with one switch, it'll set both of them off. Uh, it's probably going to happen anyway with your Harmony Hub. It just makes it a little simpler to look at. Let me just tap back here and say done and come out of this. Now, another thing that I can do as well is I can also just, just link them together by room. So I can move them in a particular location so that they go where I want them to go. And so again, if I just long press in, I go to details and you can see where it says room. If I just hit room here, I'll just go ahead and put it in the loft so that it's shown there and I'll say done and I'll tap out of it. And you can see now it's disappeared from the default room. And if I just swipe over, and keep going. There's the loft. You can see there's my Harmony Hub. It's all set and ready to go uh, right in there. And I can always ungroup later if I want to. Just long press, details. I can come in here and I can ungroup accessories and it will separate them as well. Let me just tap on done and then out. So that gives you an idea of how uh, HomeBridge works with the Harmony Hub. There have been some people that have reported some issues with it. Uh, you know, crashing every so often with the plug-in. Um, I'm going to experiment with this more to make sure that that doesn't happen. Uh, there is, There are some options to have your Harmony Hub actually restart uh, all the time. Uh, not your Harmony Hub, but your home bridge. Just restart if it does crash. And I'm going to uh, show you a couple of those options in another screencast, but just wanted to show you how this works. So now that I have it set that way, I can actually use uh, Siri whenever I want to actually turn on or off a television. And the nice thing is that I do have a HomePod where I can do that as well. And so I will also do a screencast in the future demonstrating that so you get an idea of how that works. So that gives you an idea of how to set up uh, the Harmony Hub with uh, HomeBridge so that you can use it through HomeKit. So hopefully that helps you get that set up. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.